And at every G8, we look to see what will be the focus, what will be the issues that are elevated. Will health rise to a top agenda item? And if so, what will be the topic? Um, and as Steve mentioned, health has not always been at the top, um, although in the last decade or so that's really changed. And I would say for the most part, it's been very HIV focused. If you look at the OECD's recent data on what's happening with official development assistance writ large, not on health, but just generally, it's actually relatively level between 2009 and 10, even in, re you know, in real and nominal terms. And some donors are actually decreasing and some are increasing. So it's not clear what this will mean. So going forward, it'd be really important to monitor how health fares in that equation um, and look at other markers in the near term. Hundreds of thousands of women die each year as a result of pregnancy and childbirth. Um, and progress on, on child mortality is slow and uneven. Millions of children die each year, even before their fifth birthday. So we did believe that the G8 could make a tangible difference in improving the health of women and children in developing countries. So we took a very straightforward approach as the, as the chair of the G8. Um, we went and saw the World Health Organization. Uh, they told us that the game changers would be to focus on health systems uh, to ensure availability of public health services along the full continuum of care from pre-pregnancy to childhood. Uh, we took their advice and working with our G8 uh, uh, partners, including the United States, of course, very much at the forefront of this effort, um, we focused the initiative squarely on scaling up investments in health systems uh, to improve access to health services, as I said, along this continuum of care. As a backdrop to the G8 summit, uh, our president, President Obama, uh, recently released his national security strategy. In that strategy, the U.S. recognizes development as a moral, strategic, and economic imperative. Countries that achieve sustained development gains are more capable partners. They can engage in and contribute to the global economy, and they provide citizens with the opportunity, means, and freedom to improve their lives. The President will also be issuing a new development policy in the near future, and at the start of the Muskoka Summit, he previewed that policy in a fact sheet uh, called the U, uh, New U.S. Approach to Development. It's on uh, whitehouse.gov for those who are interested. And this development policy will focus on sustainable development outcomes by promoting broad-based economic growth, democratic governance, investing in game-changing innovations that have the potential to solve long-standing development challenges and building effective public sector capacity to provide basic services over the long term. The policy also puts a premium on selectivity, leveraging the expertise and resources of others, mutual accountability, and on evidence of impact. Mm -hmm.